what do you do if you see a leftover banana like this? Many for sure will just throw it in the trash. Realistically, one third of banana and its milk have gone to waste nearly every day, according to SciSpace. Now let me tell you what else you can actually do with this thing you regard as waste. According to Dr. X, an expert nutritionist, banana peel can actually be used for an ingredient to purify water. In Indonesia itself, it has been proven to assist in water purifying processes in remote areas such as the Batang Pinangkal in Sijunyu area. The question is, how are we, who's a nobody, can utilize this food waste to its designed purpose? Good morning everyone! Today we're going to go through this table of contents with me, Phoebe, and my co-founders Ricardo, Salsabila, and Everson, and we're going to go through the solution to food waste reproduced from Indonesia. Imagine a hotel buffet. You're probably wondering where do all the leftovers go at the end? Probably the same answer, the trash. Now Indonesia itself has known to produce at least 48 million tons of food waste annually, making it the largest in Southeast Asia. This is where Reproduce comes to the rescue. Reproduce is a mobile application that allows a purchase of F&B products between the industry players and the consumers. Our model here is very simple, less for the better. The less food waste, the better the environment. Our startup has developed the repurposed application with database currently available only in Indonesia and Southeast Asia in the future. We are currently in the proceed revenue generating state with streams coming from service and merchant fee as well as advertisement. Repurposed strength is to establish connection with Akrido, which is Indonesia's association of restaurants and cafes, as well as our cutting edge technology incorporating AI and machine learning within our application. Our weakness, which is something we're currently improving, is the limited area of operation that only covers the big cities in Indonesia. Our opportunities is basically the untapped market of the processed food, food waste. And last but not least, our threat is basically the idea of how replicable our concept and application is. With our current idea, we have identified a pain point from our B2B customer where they suffer at loss from the poor management of inventory and production as well as leftover culture. And there's no solution up until today, so we are just accumulating food waste every single day in Indonesia. To tackle the problem, we have came up with three different solutions that is brilliant. Let's start with the first one. The first one is called Green Bean. Green Bean is basically a device that allows people to dehydrate their food waste and turn it into, let's say, a compost or livestock feed. It comes in different sizes and is available to be purchased by our B2B as well as B2C. Similarly, the second solution still revolves around dehydrators, but what makes it different this time is there will be a centralized food waste management on our end, so the customer can simply send us their food to be processed. This, however, is almost like a pro bono basis, and it requires a lot of operating expenses. Last but not least, we also came up with inventory management education, which is a separate section from our app that provides curated information about the best way to store and make use of the available products for partners and users. Weighing out the benefits and financial feasibilities of the three alternatives, we conclude that the first solution answers our pain point the best compared to the other two. With cutting edge technologies involving our dehydrators, charcoal filters, and UV light, food waste will no longer be a threat. The green beans provide an integrated waste solution that will benefit farmers, households, and also institutions. Owners may self use their dried waste for their personal use, such as for gardener fertilizers. This business model will help reduce the number of waste increase the supplies of fertilizers, and also reduce the waste management cost of management and institutions. Financially, this alternative provides the greatest amount of revenue streams coming from the sale of bins, filters, and also from our marketplace fees. Our company is currently at our ideation stage, where to progress forward to our product launches test, we will need massive amounts of dry powder. This need for dry powder will accommodate us until our manufacturing, and this problem will hinder us from fulfilling our production quota. And if this happens, our contingency is to focus on our B2B quota for this, so we could still keep an ample amount of cash at a healthy position. With massive market potential, we predict by the end of our projection here. This feature will give us an additional 600,000 USD, which concludes a three times IRR and also a 0.3 payback period. Our company will adjust its ASP to increase its margins situationally according to the increasing awareness of ESG in Indonesia. We are confident that with the launch of this product, it will bring massive impact and massive benefits towards our community, towards our stakeholders, and of course, towards our company. Our purpose is to make a better environment for you, together with you. So how about with us? Are you in heaven? It's time to repurpose.